For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Outwalls Camping and Leisure with me Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a bit of a review on a lovely new inflatable tent from Van Gogh. This here is the Van Gogh Stargrove Air 600XL. It's quite a, a nice tent because it's made to hit a certain price point. So if you want, if you're kind of new to the game and don't want to spend necessarily a lot of money but still want the air system and not compromise on the quality, that's where this model comes in really nicely. It's kind of a free zone tent, so you've got a sleeping area, a main living area, and then a nice sort of decent sized canopy area at the front as well. Uh, Van Gogh, yet again, uh, use a really nice sort of 3,000mm uh, hydrogen head, a sort of nice tent fabric that you know, is, is durable, but also necessarily very waterproof as well. The joy is what they've kind of do is sort of strip back on all, all the kind of elaborate features that you've come to know and love with Van Gogh, and just keep the main core things in the essentials, in essence, of what you need. But obviously, kept it in the air format so it's very quick and easy to put up. You can check out our own at walls pitching and packing videos that we do. I've done one on this as well uh, and it took me I think about uh, nine and a half minutes, nine minutes to put up on my own which for something this size makes it perfect going away for weekends or long weeks. Um, yeah, again it makes it much more affordable as well. The Star Grove yet again like any other tent uh, this sort of air system we do uh, offer interest-free finance again, so you can check that out on our website in the link below if you have any more questions or queries on this, as well as all the videos in one place. Generally, it's a nice sort of model. Like I said, it's a free zone part, so you've got a sort of a decent sized living area and a good sized canopy area. On the outside of things, uh, each beam is then individually inflated and it uses Van Gogh's airspeed valve system, which is very easy and quick to use. You've got a good sort of about light coming through, so in the front sort of panels here, You've got a nice clear window, but then these also zip down the outside to give you that privacy when you want to. Both windows, which reflects on the other side as well, has this mesh panel at the top, which you can zip up and allow a good circulation of air just to keep it a bit more fresher and uh, sort of a bit nicer on the inside. Generally, you've also got a nice ventilation point just above the bedrooms around the back panel, just to help give you circulation and help fight condensation, really. Generally, at the front, what you can see is a nice big wide open door which can be put in several positions so you can have it sort of half open or completely fully open. And the joys of this makes it nice and versatile if you want a bit of shelter for when you're cooking. So you can actually kind of roll that back, toggle that back if need be, or alternatively open the door up completely and gives you a really nice big open area. Let's remove this peg down the bottom. So you've got sort of nice high visibility guy ropes as well which again help people not trip over your uh, tent on the campsite. So yeah, you know, it just rolls in. And you've got two little toggle points, one on top, and then also one down here as well. So you've got also then, once the canopy's open, a good amount of depth inside here. You put a cooker unit more than happily inside. You've got a nice flat doorway in. One thing I will say on the side door as well, you can kind of uh, buy some additional canopy poles and then give yourself a little bit of extra shelter. So this door zips down and it's got a little toggle up part here as well. You can put a ping point through that to lay it flat. So it actually sort of toggles up, toggles down, so you've got a flat way into it. But also you see, there's some little eyelets positioned in the corners here. So with some king poles, you can buy as an optional extra. You can create a little bit of a mini canopy and just offers more shelter for, you know, what your tent you've got really. Generally, as I said, in terms of value for money, I think it's pretty brilliant, brilliant I should say. And necessarily, I think if you're looking, like I said, not necessarily a first time camper, but want something that's going to be smaller, compact, and certainly easier to pitch, this is a really good option. But let's have a look on the inside and see what else the Star Grove has to offer. So now inside the Star Grove, you can kind of get a bit more of a feel for the tent and sort of the depth you've got in here as well. Decent sort of width. Uh, so if you talk about three meters eighty wide, and it's about six and a half long. So it's you're more than happy to fit on sort of standard pitch. But the main thing I say is you've got three zoned areas. So sleeping at the back, living area, and then also the canopy area, which is predominantly probably meant for sort of cooking or uh, storing wet bikes, shoes, and that sort of stuff in here as well. Generally, I said that the canopy area because you've got that zip door at the front, you can make it completely enclosed if you wanted to. Uh, but you still, even with it kind of open, you actually got a good shelter away from the elements. Like I talked about the inside, you've got a mesh on the top. A PVC panel below to get plenty of light in, but also ventilation as well. 
Then station car continues on into the main living area with these two front panels here to give yourself good circulation. So even if it's chucking down with rain or it's quite humid, you can leave that front door open and allow certainly the, the breeze to come in and just make it a bit more refreshing regardless of what the weather's doing. You've got a nice flat doorway into the main part of the living area as well, so there's no trip hazards. And like I said, on the outside, that's the same principle with the, um, the side door as well. So what you've got is, once it's on pegged up, this has got a little point of lip that can lip take up. That way it makes it feel, you know, we're not gonna have anything else popping and such. So you've got that sort of bath task, bathtub style ground sheet when the rest of it's all sewn in. The door on the front here is also has a mesh part to it. So since of not only with the windows, but the front door then completely allows you to have good ventilation without having the bugs and critters coming in. Generally headroom, as you can see, is pretty decent in here. So especially when you think of you know, what you're sort of paying wives for it. So, I mean, I'm about six foot two. Do you know what, it's not too bad. Especially when you get into the corners, can be a bit, little bit low, but still I think for sort of a slightly narrow footprint you come to see with normal six bursts, I think it really does make it quite sort of roomy actually. The, the one thing I do love about this is the, the proportions into the uh, living area is really good. You've got tons of room in here that even if you put a table and chairs, you're still not going to be sort of cramped for room as such. And that extra side door, like I said, doing that with a canopy, that just gives you the extra bit again. In a sleeping area, you've got uh, obviously the ability to six at the back, and you've got these little toggle dividers in between the sections, which has allowed you to get privacy when you want to. Alternatively, obviously, you completely remove them and have everyone sort of slept in one big open bedroom. Generally, you've got little things uh, that you can't quite see out on the cusp of things, like little storage pockets, just based in the inner bedroom there, uh, to kind of do what you want to do, as well as a little feature called um, TBS. So this stands for Tension Band System, so it's in basically all of Van Gogh's tunnel tents. Gives you almost like internal guy ropes. Therefore, if you need it, alternatively, if you don't, you can just sort of store away in a little pocket. But what it tends to do is just in the sort of uh, slightly stormier conditions, just gives the tent a little bit more structure. So say, for example, the wind's coming in from the one side there. By pushing that in, this helps to retain the shape and keep it a lot more structurally stable. It's something Van Gogh have used in their sort of high-end backpacking tents from numerous years, and they're using all of their uh, tunnel tents, whether it be polled or inflatable as well. You've also got a hanging point for a lantern, which again is brilliant, yeah, so you have a bit of lighting as well. Uh, if you're really crafty, you probably create some sort of extra hanging point at this point here as well. Generally, what you find as well, a little Velcro tabs, located around, stitched onto the beam, so you have a little cable running down from your mains light to a little cable entry point on the side. So it means you don't have to have the door left open the whole time, you want to have electric hookup. Yet again, I think one of the things it's, it's worth certainly popping down into our shop and seeing this on display, because I think really you can't grasp the size of it in relation to what you pay for it without seeing it in the flesh, that makes sense. Um, but generally, like I said, you can see necessarily you don't have like elaborate uh, sort of zip up curtains or um, you know a second door, uh, well a third door I should say. The dividers are also the sort of uh, like a sheet rather than zips. So you can see kind of where they've sort of saved costs to get, again, keep the price point at a really nice affordable rate. But generally, really positive model. If you have any questions or queries, of course, check out our website. Comment, obviously comment in below and let us know what you think of the Stargrove. But that kind of is our, our Atwalls video review on the Stargrove 600XL.